Hey everybody, it's David Sirota. So there was a line in the movie Wall Street that's very relevant to this week's news from the Trump administration. And it's not the line, greed is good. It's another line from Gordon Gekko. It's that line where Gordon Gekko says, the most valuable commodity I know of is information. And he's talking about the use of information, in that case, inside information, to make money on investments. Now this is a line that's relevant to the news of President Trump's Intelligence Advisory Board. There's a piece of news that came out that the president is appointing a top private equity executive to run the Intelligence Advisory Board. And that advisory board has access to all sorts of government intelligence. It's advising the president. It's in the national security area. And he appointed a CEO of a private equity firm called Cerberus Capital Management. And it's no run-of-the-mill private equity firm. It's a private equity firm that owns the private security firm DynCorp International. Now DynCorp is in all sorts of national security operations, all sorts of defense operations, logistics, and the like. So think about that for a second. A CEO of a private equity firm that owns a huge security consultancy that is doing all sorts of national security work, that CEO is now going to be on the President's Intelligence Advisory Board to run it. So that CEO of that private investment firm is going to have access to all of that information while he's presumably running that same private equity firm. Now remember that Gordon Gecko line, the most valuable commodity I know of is information. I mean, this is an opportunity for a person like that to have access to all sorts of information that could be of commercial use in this private equity executive's private investment life. And here's the other interesting thing about the particular firm that we're talking about, Cerberus Capital Management. It is one of the firms that has the most amount of what's called dry powder on hand. What's dry powder? Dry powder is money that investors have given the firm telling it to invest money in, in other companies. Dry powder is when the, there's a situation in private equity, equity where companies are having more and more trouble finding good investments for this money, so the money is basically accruing in these private equity firms. The point being here is that Cerberus Capital Management is a company that is needing to and looking to invest a huge mountain of money and it's a private equity firm that has already made big investments in the private security space. And again, its CEO is now going to be leading the President of the United States Intelligence Advisory Board, giving him all sorts of access to all sorts of government intelligence information. Now, will Feinberg use that information in a way that helps him profit? We don't know that yet. Is it possible that a person in a position like this will have access to all sorts of information that's extremely valuable in the way that Gordon Gecko said that information can be valuable? Absolutely. Now, of course, in, in a certain sense, this is not anything new, the trend here. These boards have been around for a long time. There's all sorts of federal advisory boards where you've got lobbyists and industry people on these boards getting access to all sorts of government information. Now, ostensibly, they, these boards exist to advise the president, to provide him with outside counsel. But what's very little discussed is the fact that there's the external piece of this. It's not just advice to the president, it's that the people on the boards are getting extremely valuable information. Information that can give them an information advantage in the marketplace. So, in a sense, what we're talking about here with President Trump, it's, it's, it's a big piece of news because you have such a direct potential connection between a private equity executive in the private security space now getting access to uh, government intelligence information that could be uh, commercially actionable. That's new in the sense of how blatant it is, but it's not new in the sense of the way Washington generally works. That there is this crossover, there, there is this boundaryless situation where there are no boundaries 
in many ways between uh, corporations that can profit off of information and government which can provide information that allows them or helps them make those profits and get that information advantage. This is one that's worth watching because the potential connections are so are so obvious, are so blatant. But of course, it's one that will be the hardest to watch because it's in the national security space, the government intelligence space, which is one of the most shadowy areas of the government. It's not exactly a transparent area. But but the the blatant nature of what's going on here is a big red flag that reminds everybody of how these relationships can work and how important and valuable information can be for people who are straddling that line between corporate, the corporate world, the investment world, the financial world, and the government world. This is David Sirota. Uh, check us out at uh, TYT Investigates online on Twitter, TYT Investigates, or on Facebook. Uh, you can find our work there, and you can find my reporting there as well.